Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's Tuning and Strategy Guide for Manufacturer's Cup Round 5. If you appreciate our videos and find them helpful, please consider subscribing. Round 5 is at Catalunya GP No Chicane in Group 3 for all classes. BOP with partial suspension tuning and brake balance settings. With racing hard and racing medium tyres available. Whereas 2x fuel and 5x tyre for all 3 classes. GT1 is for 33 laps. GT2 and 3 is 16 laps. Racing hard tyres are mandatory for all 3 classes. I've made 2 tunes for this round. One for MR cars using the RCZ and one for FR cars using the AMG. We'll start with the Peugeot RCZ. So first make sure the car is serviced and all fresh. Go into car settings as you are entering the race. Adjust the front and rear dampers as shown on the screen. Compression 32 front, 40 rear, expansion 50 front, 48 rear. And set the brake balance to rear plus 5. Next up the Mercedes AMG. Adjust the front and rear dampers as shown on the screen. Compression 20 front, 20 rear, expansion 50 front, 50 rear. And set the brake balance to rear plus 5. I ran controller sensitivity on 6 for both the RCZ and the AMG to help reduce tyre wear in the race. Potential strategy for GT1 will be a 2 or 3 stop. Refueling mid-race will be necessary, so fuel burn at the start. You'll also need to look after your tyres, as the wear is high. The following strategy options are available for GT1. 2 stop, racing hard 8, racing medium 12, racing medium 13, or racing medium 12, Racing Hard 8, Racing Medium 13. For a 3 stop, Racing Hard 1, Racing Medium 10, Racing Medium 11, Racing Medium 11. Or Racing Medium 10, Racing Medium 10, Racing Medium 12, Racing Hard 1. For GT2 and 3 is a 1 stop or a no stop. For 1 stop, Racing Hard 4, Racing Medium 12. Or Racing Medium 12, Racing Hard 4. For a no stop, racing hard all the way. Fuel won't be an issue, so fuel burn for the start also. Note that heavy damage is now enabled for GT1 and care will need to be taken, otherwise you'll be forced to pit for repairs. Race is approximately 1 hour long for GT1 and approximately 30 minutes for GT2 and 3. So prepare some snacks and a drink and buckle in. Hope you guys found this guide useful and it helps to get some more pace out of the cars. If you enjoyed the video or have any questions or feedback, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Cheers.